Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix limited network connectivity in your Windows machine. Now, there are a couple of steps you need to try to get this issue resolved. Now, before we deep dive into, into the steps, I would suggest you to go ahead with the basic troubleshooting. Now, the first thing is check your physical connection. Ensure your Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable is properly connected. If you're using Ethernet, try a different port on your router or a modem. This is the first step. And the second basic step is to go ahead and restart your devices. So you can restart your computer. And at the same time, you can power cycle your router and modem by unplugging them. Wait for 30 seconds and then plugging them back to your power cord. And wait until your router reboots completely. Once this is done, you may go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if you are able to connect to the internet, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to go ahead and fix the problem is to go ahead and run the network troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you click on settings, you will have to go ahead and click on system. Now on the right hand side, you will have to scroll down and go ahead and locate troubleshoot and click on it once you click on troubleshoot then click on other troubleshooter once you're on the troubleshooter section locate for network and internet sometimes it might be under most frequent list or else it would be under other so you will have to go ahead and run the network troubleshooter follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen once the network troubleshooter has diagnosed the problem you may go ahead and close the network troubleshooter restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step you could try to get this issue resolved is to execute some of the command on your computer to do this you will have to open the command prompt so in the search window you may go ahead and type cmd once you have the best match for the command prompt you can do a right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you are on the command prompt you will have to go ahead and execute the command which i will mention in the video description all you have to do is you will have to copy the command and do a right click on the command prompt window and then click on edit and then click on paste once you have this command you will have to go ahead and hit enter once this is done the second command what you will have to go ahead and execute is to go ahead and execute the command to flush dns now to flush dns you will have to type the command ip config space forward slash flush dns and hit enter once you once this command has been successfully executed the next command what you will have to go and execute is to go ahead and reset the windsock settings i will also mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste it here by doing a right click on edit and then click on paste this is this command will go ahead and reset the windsock hit enter once this is done the next command is to go ahead and reset the next command is you will have to go ahead and execute is net sh int ip reset and hit enter once this is done the next command is to go ahead and release the ip config the ip and the last command is to go ahead and renew the ip so you can copy and paste the command and hit enter so all, once all these commands has been successfully executed you can close the command prompt window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step to go ahead and resolve this issue is to go ahead and do a network reset to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you are on the settings you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet once you are on the network and internet page on the right hand side you will have to go ahead and click on advanced network settings now on this page you would see an option which says network reset click on it and then click on reset and then click on yes once this is done you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you can go ahead and update your network driver to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager this should open the device manager window once you're on the device manager window you will have to go ahead 
ahead and locate for network adapters expand network adapters once you're on the network adapter you will have to go ahead and update your network adapter so basically if you're using a wi-fi then you will have to go ahead and update your network adapter so either you can do a right click and then click on net scan for hardware changes once this is done another way of updating a network adapter is in case if you have a real tech or qualcomm you may go and update those network adapter so you can do a right click and then click on update driver search automatically for the drivers and then click on close and at the same time you may also try to update the other drivers listed here by doing a right click and then click on update driver search automatically for the drivers and then click on close once this is done you may close this window, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. So all the steps should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.